Hello, I'm Dr. Cheryl Cable, and I'm a maxillofacial prosthodontist. What's that, you ask? I'm a specialty trained dentist who reconstructs patients' mouths and faces after cancer therapy, trauma, and congenital anomalies. I want to talk to you today about how to prevent getting head and neck cancer due to the human papillomavirus, or HPV. HPV is a virus that is spread from intimate contact. There are more than 100 varieties of human papillomavirus, and depending on the type, some HPV infections cause warts on the genitals or mouth, and some can cause different types of cancer. Over 80% of sexually active adults have had at least one HPV infection in their life. For most of us, our bodies can just take care of that on our own and heal. But sometimes, this virus can cause cancer. Most people think that HPV is a female disease and only causes cervical cancer. Well, yes, cervical cancer is one of the cancers caused by the HPV virus. And globally, our healthcare providers have been fighting this preventable disease that is taking the lives of our daughters, sisters, wives, and mothers. But did you know that HPV can cause six different kinds of cancer? These include oral pharyngeal or mouth cancer, cervical, vulvar and vaginal, anal and penile. These cancers directly affect both females and males. This cancer affects everyone. While cervical cancer rates are slowly declining in the world with increased education and vaccine programs, oral pharyngeal cancer cases are increasing at an astronomical rate in males. In Canada, it is estimated that 5,800 males will be diagnosed with head and neck cancer this year, and 1,550 will die from it. On top of this, the number of head and neck cancers caused by HPV is on the rise, and is currently estimated that 74% of all oral pharyngeal cancers are caused by an HPV infection. So what is happening? Why are more males showing up with cancer due to HPV, and what can we do about it? There's extensive research and experience on how to detect, treat, prevent, and educate patients. But unfortunately, we have not vaccinated males at the same rate or priority as females. Mankind has not been kind to man. It is only since 2022 that oral pharyngeal cancer prevention has been an indication for providing the HPV vaccine in Canada. Now, we have the chance to prevent this debilitating disease for both males and females. With cervical cancer, there are pap tests to detect early cancerous changes. Unfortunately, the best we can do with head and neck cancer is to be vigilant for any changes in our mouths. Watch for voice changes, look for firm, painless neck masses, or if there is anything that does not feel right that lasts more than two weeks. As these cancers often develop in hard to see areas of the mouth and throat, they are most often caught by your dentist or dental hygienist during a routine checkup. This is why regular dental visits are so important. Dentists and dental hygienists are trained to complete oral cancer exams as part of your regular checkups. If we find something in your mouth during the exam that we are not sure about, you may be referred for a biopsy or more imaging to make sure we know more of what we are dealing with. Further testing may involve a referral to a head and neck surgeon, an oral surgeon, or an ear, nose, and throat specialist. If a biopsy confirms cancer, hospital-based specialist care will be coordinated. This type of cancer impacts more than physical health. It brings significant financial burden and emotional strain too. For instance, the cost for dental rehabilitation after cancer treatment can be tens of thousands of dollars. Yet the true impact is the devastating effect it has on the lives and well-being of both patients and their families. The good news is, is that getting vaccinated against HPV is a powerful way to significantly reduce your risk of developing HPV-related cancers. The vaccination to prevent the HPV virus has been studied and used globally since 1997, and the safety of the vaccine is extremely well documented. In Canada, the National Advisory Committee on Immunization recommends the HPV vaccine for anyone nine years old and older. In our provinces and territories, this vaccine is offered to many people free of charge through various provincial programs, including elementary school programs. HPV-related head and neck cancers can be easily prevented by the HPV vaccine. 
as it has been linked to an estimated 88% decrease in the occurrence of the most common types of HPV related to oral infections and cancer among adults. Remarkably, this reduction reaches nearly 100% in vaccinated males. Therefore, the HPV vaccine is a safe and effective preventive measure, and I would recommend that everyone gets vaccinated if that is the right decision for you. The vaccine helps everyone, regardless of sex, gender, sexual orientation, or identity. I have been known to give an HPV vaccine as a Valentine's Day gift because nothing says I love you like preventing someone you care about from getting cancer. Head and neck cancer usually responds very well to treatment, and many people survive it. However, it is a very hard journey. The effects of surgery in the mouth and throat can disrupt basic functions like speaking, eating, and swallowing, leading to drastic life changes. Furthermore, ongoing dental health challenges like tooth decay is common, and treatments like radiation can cause permanent loss of saliva making removable dental devices like dentures difficult or even impossible to use. Frequently, the only solution can be dental implants, which are expensive and require placement and maintenance by dental specialists. These ongoing health challenges make it very difficult for head and neck cancer survivors to return to their previous jobs, and many experience limitations in social interactions. Survivors of head and neck cancer face a suicide rate that is double that of survivors of other cancers. It is very clear that the impact of this type of cancer is not just physical, but profoundly personal and visible. I know I've shared a lot of information with you today, but remember, behind each statistic I've shared is a real person, someone with hopes, dreams, and people who love them. These aren't just numbers. They represent lives that can be profoundly affected by HPV. So what if I told you you could get a prescription today for medicine that would prevent you from getting cancer? Would you be interested?